Welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aguian, and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. Two people are killed on St. Croix. The children of the territory speak the peace. And a huge celebration for the brothers and sisters of the Dominican Republic. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. Our top story tonight two people are killed after a bloody weekend on st croix we start on company street with west small thanks a lot jerome uh it was a very sad weekend once again for the virgin islands and st croix in particular uh, we have two homicides to talk about this evening i'd like to start right here on company street club 54 altercation happened around midnight uh that was on saturday night where we have a 20 year uh, old man, Javier Rivera. The altercation apparently started here inside Club 54. Uh, street wise, at least, rumors on the street possibly, altercation happened inside the club and then led up Company Street, where he was later shot in his vehicle and killed. His name, Javier Rivera, only 20 years of age. Right now, let's go to the VIPD, Melody Rames, spokesperson. At about 3.30 a.m. Sunday, February 28th, police again responded to shots fired in Christianstead. According to the preliminary investigation, a scuffle broke out at Club 54 on Company Street. Soon after, shots were fired in the area of Queen Cross and Company Street. A male victim, later identified as 20-year-old Javier Rivera of a state profit, was apparently struck by gunfire while driving his vehicle away from the area. As a result of those injuries, Rivera crashed his vehicle into a building a few blocks away on Company Street. Emergency medical technicians found no signs of life on the victim. Now, again, um, that is the official word from Melody Rains, VIPD. Word on the street is possibly he bumped into someone in the club. Uh, then a fight escalated, not a fight, but an altercation which led outside of the club. That's when they were fist flying, and apparently uh, fist turned into bullets. We believe that this young man got into his car, rolled up his windows, locked his doors, tried to leave, but he was shot. Um, because um, police reports have the bullets going through the window as well as the door. And this is where 20-year-old um, Javier Rivera ended up, right? Apparently, he got out of his vehicle here. Uh, he was trying to get himself to the emergency room because he was apparently already shot up. Witnesses say he got out of his car, right? And then tried to make it like to the top of Times Square, and that's where he dropped down. If you know anything more about that, you should call 911 or Crime Stoppers at 1 800 222 TIPS. For now, Mr. Rivera, he becomes homicide victim number one for the weekend. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And the news just gets worse. Here's Wes again. I'm here in Fredericksted in Marley Project. The witnesses on the street have told me that this is where this murder happened at. At 1140, 43-year-old Herman Santos Jr., better known all over the Virgin Islands, especially on St. Croix, as Poochie, the feed shop man. From Williams Delight, one gunshot wound to his left side of his stomach. Again, that happened minutes to midnight. We believe he was visiting a family member and he was surprised. Let's go to Melody Rames, VIPD spokesperson, and then I'll have more. Police were dispatched to a call of shots fired in the Marley Homes in Fredericksted at about 11.40 p.m. Saturday, February 27th. When police arrived on the scene, they found that a male victim had been taken by ambulance to the Governor Juan F. Louis Hospital and Medical Center. The victim, who was later identified as 43-year-old Hernan Santos Jr. of Estate Williams Delight, died of at least one gunshot wound to the left side of his stomach while being treated at the hospital. Thank you, Melody Rames. Now, uh, we can tell you, I believe you, you're watching his picture here now that we've uh, recovered. Now, a lot of speculation is on the street about possibly gold was the motive uh, for this robbery. Uh, we believe that he was locking up the gate right here and he was surprised uh, by his attackers. 
and uh, we believe that that gold chain could have been taken. What we do know is this, is that he fought for his life for several hours, uh, but he did succumb to his injuries uh, that around 3 a.m. to a gunshot wound to the left side of his stomach. Uh, the gold uh, situation is uh, kind of on a lot of people's minds as I talk to them today because a lot of people think that a lot of these robberies could be committed because of gold. So we might have to watch ourselves with chains and pendants and the like. As gold goes up, the robberies could go up as well. If you know anything about this senseless killing, then you should call 911 or you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. For now, this is what we have. At around midnight, this man was leaving his family and he was gunned down in cold blood. When will the violence and the death stop? Two months of this year, 16 bodies have fell in the Virgin Islands. At this rate, we could be breaking the homicide record that we already broke just a couple of months ago. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes Small. Well, believe it or not, Ye Feed Shop is still open today on Castle Coakley. News Channel 8's Wes Small has more on this tragedy. Now we are at Ye Feed Shop um, here off the Hess Road. Pucci, very well loved in the Virgin Islands. Herman Santos Jr., we understand that he uh, lived in Castleburg, not Williams Delight. I was just talking to his sister inside. Everyone is devastated. Everyone is sad and angry. There are no words to justify this weekend, the two murders that I've just talked about, especially this one. As customers come and go today and the family and co-workers prepare to put a black ribbon on that door, one thing comes to mind. The fact that we are already at 16 homicides for two months into our year. Herman Santos Jr., better known as Pucci, leaves behind three children, a grieving family, many customers who are shaking their heads today as they come to the feed shop, not even realizing that the man that they so much love and have dealt with over the years has been slaughtered in cold blood. What will it take to get help into our territory? I say we must clean our own homes first before we invite outside help as Ye Feed Shop looks for a black ribbon for their business. And three children are now shaking their head tonight as their father is dead. He leaves behind a wife and also a grieving mother who is already ailing with kidney problems. All of this I found out by just talking to the family and the co-workers and customers inside. 16 homicides in two short months and still it's business as usual in the territory. But this reporter feels it and I hope you do too. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And thanks, Wes Small, for reporting such tragic stories over the weekend. If you or anyone you know knows something about these cases, please report them. Call 911 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. And when we come back from this break, we have celebrations ahead. Stay with us.